Anna? Oh, yes. there you are. Well, we're ready to hit the waterfront. Oh, okay. Uh, Vince, I know how close you are to Frisco. I hope that this assignment doesn't hurt your friendship in any way. Well, the only way that could happen is if I collar Frisco's mystery suspect. That's exactly what we want to happen. Good luck to you both. No, same to you. You have your hands full searching for Alan. I know I do. See you in a bit. Right. Whoops. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. okay, I've got Sam waiting for that report on the license plate, yeah. and that shouldn't take too long. Then I've got every available blue and white searching the inland area around Good. the crash site. Good. And the divers, what about them? Oh, they found some wreckage at the bottom of the lake. Just might be part of the plane. Where? Where did they find the wreckage? Um, let's see, they said it'd be right about there. Oh, my goodness. Those currents must have been very strong to pull that so far away from the crash site. Yeah. That is, if it is the debris from the plane. Yeah, if it is, then I don't think Dr. Quartermain has much chance of having survived the crash. No. Uh, Chief Devane? Yes. Captain Lewis, this is Marshal Lang. Ms. Lang is an air traffic controller over at Port Charles Airport. She was on duty when Dr. Quartermain took off. Oh, right. Thank you very much for coming by, Ms. Lang. Glad to do it. Um, was there anything unusual about Dr. Quartermain's takeoff? No, not at all. Dr. Quartermain appeared to be a very competent pilot. Was there any communication between you and Dr. Quartermain when you were in the tower? Just the normal directives on takeoff. Were you in touch with him up until the time of the crash? Well, no. There was some static on the radio, and then it went dead. Uh, he was a novice pilot. Yeah. Maybe he panicked. Well, he'd have had a parachute on board there, wouldn't he? It's regulation. I'll have somebody check his locker just to make sure that he didn't leave it behind. Oh, could you get thank back you. to us as soon as possible? Absolutely. Appreciate well, it. Thank you very much for all your help. Uh, Eric will see you out. All right, thank you very thank much. You. Well, now all we can do is wait until something turns up. Yeah, shouldn't be too long. Um, I saw Frisco when I came in this morning. Oh, yeah, I saw him too. He pretended that he hadn't seen me. I know this assignment must be killing him. Yeah, well, it's for his own good. Mm. And I know that you and Frisco are pretty close. It's a very difficult decision you had to make. <laughs> didn't give me any choice. I mean, if that boy doesn't learn, he has to work on a team, then he's just going to be in constant danger. And not just on this case, but for the rest of his career. And the way things are going, if he keeps it up, it's liable to be a very short career. Here we go. Hey, oh, hey. Hi there, Frisco. You keeping busy? Well, there's not a lot to do around here, Chief. It looks a little bored to me, sir. Oh, really? Well, that's good. It'll give him time to think about what he did last night, and maybe he won't make the same stupid mistake again. <laughs> I hope so, sir. Uh, you know, the only other job you might assign him is the uh, street crossing guard at uh, the grade school. Oh, dear, let's keep our fingers crossed that it doesn't come to that. Oh. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Did Chief Ramsey come out this way? Yeah, him and Vince just left. Well, did they say where they were going? No, they don't tell me important things anymore. I'm just a doorman, remember? Why? What do you need him for? Well, he wanted me to let him know when this DMV report came in. DMV? Well, then that's about that getaway car then, right? Yeah. Let me take a little look at that, huh? Absolutely not. This report is confidential. Only officers involved in the case are privy to its information. I have been involved in this case since day one, and you know it. Well, not anymore. How can you do this to a buddy, Sam? It's easy. If Anna or Ramsey caught me letting you read this, they'd have me walking the same beach you're on. Who said that they have to know? All you gotta do is take a little peek. It's against department regulations. I am trying to go exactly by the regulations. Don't you understand that? How do you figure that? Haven't you ever heard of the buddy system? I don't think this is what they had in mind. No, but Sam. Listen, I have always been a buddy of you. What about in the academy? When you first started, I was always there helping you. How about Angel Moran? When you nailed him, you couldn't have done it without me, right? Oh, yeah, right, buddy. You were standing there holding your arm. I'm the one that wrestled him to the ground. All right. Check the guy when he's down. This one with a little look. Okay, I'll let you look at it, but just for a few seconds, okay? Are you satisfied? There's not much there. <laughs> All that for nothing? Thanks.
Tuesday, July 29, partial New York license plate number 613. Run check on computer for stolen car.